All right, that's some people. Super awesome people from Facebook. I'm back. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a video right now for you guys. And this is gonna be awesome. Okay, so hang on, here we come. I'm gonna use the palette, the palette knife today to bring you guys an awesome oil painting. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is a, a 9 by 12 canvas board. Okay, 9 by 12 canvas board. And we're gonna do a ocean seascape. But this is going to be an impasto. Okay? This is not going to be, this is not for child's, this is not child's play. <laughs> this is not for a for a, a, what do they call it? Uh, anyways. <laughs> Here we go. I am mixing um, I'm mixing blue, okay? Purple and and burnt sienna to create this illusion, okay, right now. A little bit of white with cadmium red and burnt sienna, again, okay? I'm telling you guys. Oh, I was gonna say, this is not, this is not for the weak heart. <laughs> Every time I use the palette knife, I, I, uh, I know that that some people uh, uh, have told me, you know, the, the, the you know the palette knife seems a bit challenging. It seems, uh, um, you know, more complicated. But I assure you, it is not. It just takes a little bit of joy and practice, and you guys will be having a, a blast with it as soon as you you get uh, acquainted with it or used to it or. I don't know what the right word would be. This falls more into the abstraction, okay? Since, since it's more um, thick layers of paint. Some people use the the term, the adequate term, I guess it's impasto, but some people tend to think that painting with a palette knife automatically is impasto, and it doesn't necessarily mean impasto. Um, it's just, a palette knife is just a, it's just a tool to paint with, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing impasto. Impasto is when you apply thick layers of paint, and uh, I see some artists who who apply paint but not very thick with I, I mean I've done it myself I like to do it with uh, the spatula which is scraping that's you know, a different technique Now, in the background, it's going to get gray, right? Or water. It doesn't always happen like that, of course, depending on the light and whatnot. But today, it does. Today, it does for us. We're going to make it darker in the background, in the distance, with some. Uh, Dioxazine purple and blue, and you can use just about any blue. Okay, doesn't have to be. It could be a Bayo Prussian. It doesn't matter. I used to love. I I swore by by uh, uh, French ultramarine. 
for many years, for 15 years, I swore. <laughs> I know it's not until recently that I that I just kind of got over French ultramarine. Just because I, I tried. You know how it happened? I, I couldn't find French ultramarine and I, and, I, and I tried phthalo. This is how, uh, how not uh, romantic it is, okay? I couldn't find French ultramarine and, and then uh, I found uh, phthalo and I was like, ah, man, I'll give it a shot. And then I just got used to it and then I just started using phthalo. Because again, you know, it's like it's like Monet said, it's not the colors, it's the it's the it's the attitude. <laughs> so so far so awesome. If you guys love this, give me some hearts, share it, uh, thumbs up, sad faces, happy faces, I don't know, angry faces, it doesn't matter. Uh, just I, I at least I'll know that I'm bringing value to some of you, whether it's Awesome fun value, or I hate you type of value. No, I don't think anybody hates me. <laughs> but just saying, you know, just saying. Let me know you're alive. Since we're doing this live right now, let me know you're alive. Awesome. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I love creating with uh, cadmium red and viridian. Uh, you can also use uh, you can use different colors. You can also use uh, phthalo green, or you know, to create a very, very almost almost uh, silvery gray. Works, it works wonders when you're doing any type of painting, but especially I found it to be to be way awesome when I'm doing you know impasto um, application. Very uh, much uh, post impressionist, I guess you could say. water, have some fun, that's what it's supposed to do. Here we go. Now I know it's odd, but I like to do this. I like to place color where there wouldn't be. You know, very, very lightly, especially when I'm doing impasto. It just makes sense. Why would you have red there, right? Why would you have a dark cadmium touching that? It just makes sense. Another thing is, what is yellow doing in the sky? You know, cadmium, um, very pale yellow. It makes sense again, guys. <laughs> Everything makes sense. Let's even put some green in the sky. Because we're doing impasto here. What we're doing is that what I love about impasto or, or, or some type of a post impressionist type work, more abstract, right? Is that you're not necessarily trying to blend the color. What you're doing is you're complementing colors. You're putting them side by side for them for your eye to blend it. Your eye is actually blending them. I know it's a it's a strange concept, but there's a technical term for it. I don't know what. I don't remember what it's called. Um, Surah was a really good master at doing that. And I I believe also Van Gogh. I think Van Gogh was, was brilliant. And of course, you know the great Monet knew how to do that very well. If he didn't know how to do that, uh, I don't think Cezanne would have called him the Eye. That was the, I think that's what he nicknamed. He was, a, he was an eye, and I think it's because he knew how to observe and, and place, place color without, um, without really mixing it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much, Karen. Feel, uh, 
feel inspired when you guys are, are, are letting me know that you guys are watching. Uh, it makes stuff uh, more exciting. It just does. <laughs> Of course, there's many ways of doing this, right? One, one great way would be to be in front of the, of the actual sea and, and doing this. But, but uh, studio painting and plein air painting, there's not, there's not all that great of a difference, guys. Because I believe, you know, some people say no, some people say yes. I, I, I think painting is painting. I'm sure that when Delacroix was painting Lady Liberty, there was no Lady Liberty in front of him. There was a memories, a model. There was, <laughs> you know, when Frederick Remington was painting, painted a cowboy jumping up and down. He did studies of that, but I'm sure he didn't catch exactly that cowboy jumping on a bronco, you know, with a bronco horse. Uh, that's what makes art, you know, all the all the studies, all the, all the work prior. And plein air painting's awesome too. I'm not bashing on it. I love plein air painting. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether it's there or not. It's almost like drawing. That's what I like about impasto with a palette knife. You're almost, you're almost, uh, it's, it's, it's like if I was drawing with a thick crayon that I could change the color almost at will. And it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be perfect because it's not supposed to be. You're supposed to you're supposed to feel the essence, the idea. The you're not supposed to feel anything, as a matter of fact. Uh, I may be talking about myself. I'm 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 feeling something right now, but the viewer, it's up to you whether you feel, you don't feel, you like, you don't like. That's 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 the freedom of the viewer. It's just this. So, here we go. This is guys, this is how I like to do impasto um, post-impressionist type of uh, work. And as I'm painting the water, it just occurred to me that that uh, I would love to put a bolt following my awesome rule of thirds. I'm going to put it over here.
Why not, no? Something like that. I even like to sign my name with that using the palette knife just to keep it awesome and uniformed. This is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you so much. If you found any value here, please uh, share it if you enjoy it. And thank you so much. Till next time. I will be bringing some awesome art sessions, some drawing sessions, some painting sessions. It'll be fun. Guys, keep it cool. Keep it fun. And I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Karen. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.